with Reginald Malone. I'm local 213 and I'm working on the Purple Line extension. I journeyed out December 9th, uh, 2021. I started my apprenticeship and journeyed out the same job. Being that this is a long-term project right now, uh, I was just blessed to be able to go through Hire LAX program and for Skanska to hire me. Before, you know what I'm saying, having this job, you know, I was incarcerated. And I was taking the program through Second Call, Life Skill Programs, and management. And when I came out and started, you know, participating in the groups, the opportunity of Hire LAX was, was presented to me. Hire LAX, what it is, is a pre-apprentice program. So, uh, they pretty much focus on local hires. I was born and raised in Inglewood, and being that I was in Inglewood, uh, that was one of the opportunities for me to have to work in uh, LAX. Before I joined the union, before I was incarcerated, I mean, it's fair to say that I was I was a mentally dead individual because everything I participated in, as far as financial gains, it mean it meant you know harming people. You know what I mean? Not probably physically, but you know, through destroying families, with selling drugs and things like that, and being part of the gang. I was incarcerated at the age of 18. Uh, I did 29 years in prison. Uh, once I get, get out of, once I uh, entered back into society, I had a different mind frame. You know, my main frame was to give back, was to be able to share my experience of life and to understand and let people know that don't nobody go me. And that's when I made the decision to go with you. When I first entered back to society, do you want a job or do you want a career? And I offered the career. And when I choose that career, it was the best thing in my life. It's a blessing to have the job, but it's the benefits. Uh, most definitely, it helps me to uh, be able to provide, provide for my family, feel human, to be able to be a part of society and, and be a citizen. You know, it feels good to pay taxes and to give back. Well, being a part of the African American Task Force, you know, uh, I wanted to join that because it's always good to connect with brothers, you know. It allows me to build a bridge with other ethnicities in our brotherhood. You know, since we to communicate. It's a space where we can go and we can conversate about the, the joys of life or working in carpentry or, or the union and, and, and the downfalls of it. You know, everybody's story can uplift somebody, you know, or, or, or focus somebody or refocus somebody. Yeah, I mean, it feels good to know that at the end of the day, you know, I have an annuity set up. You know, so I am earning something. You know, my life before, I didn't have no pension. I didn't have no benefits. So to be able to get up and work every day and to earn something for the future for myself and family, I love it. This brotherhood allows me to be normal, you know, and being me, Reginald, you know. In the other world that I was living in, I wasn't me. You know, I was always in character. So I really didn't understand me. But being a part of this brotherhood, you know, so I can I can portray me, I can be me, I can be Reginald.